Hello, and today we have the MiU Mini Plus. This is a tiny Game Boy style handheld device that is operating on Linux and has quite a few tricks up its sleeve. It smells like onion, but it may not be onion. Let's peel back these layers. All joking aside, this is the MiU Mini Plus, and it's a Game Boy style emulator that you can get offline for relatively cheap. And mine was sent over by LITNXT.com, which is a retro handheld reseller. And it's nice because these are pretty hard to get your hands on. Take a look down in the description below for an affiliate link. Let's talk about the onion. So why is this thing so popular? Well, it's very small. It's relatively affordable. And it plays all those games that a lot of the people that grew up in the 90s play. So it plays all your Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, and has just a fantastic looking screen. And all of the creature comforts that you basically come to expect from devices of nowadays, which are USB-C charging ports. It does still have a headphone jack, now that everyone doesn't have headphone wires. Rechargeable battery. Plays tons and tons of different games and systems for that matter, all the way up to the PS1. And if you install Onion OS, it's got a bunch of different features that the community has made very accessible. It's a very cute little device. So what makes this so special? Well, it plays all your old cartridges in addition to having a fantastically bright and nicely colored screen. <laughs> Let's go over the build quality and features of this device. So this device is a very plastic device. It's got a plastic case, it's got a plastic screen covering, and it's got plastic buttons and triggers. But that doesn't make it feel chintzy. It feels great. When you hold it, it feels like the old ABS plastic Game Boys, in addition to having a little bit tighter button response because they're new versus being 20 years old, and the button clicks are great. They match what the device feels overall. They're snappy and responsive versus being worn out at this point. The other cool thing is the battery that is replaceable. The battery casing does come off, but it does come with a rechargeable battery right out of the gate. I really think the biggest selling point for this device is the screen. It just looks fantastic. Compared to an old Game Boy or doing a Game Boy mod to get better visuals out of the old devices, I think this is the easiest way to get an emulated game looking as good as stock could be nowadays. Being able to adjust the brightness and quickly save and unlock the device adds those features that didn't exist before and it's great. I think the retro, tiny retro handheld space in the, at this point in time is at a very good point and if you'd like to buy in, I would think now is the time. Between the MiU Mini Plus and a few other devices out there right now, it's been, it hasn't been easier to get into small emulation on the go than it is now. So this device doesn't quite have a storefront, which is the downside to this device right now, which is, it is relatively affordable, but it's hard to find, which is where today's sponsor from the video actually comes from, which is litnxt.com, which is, basically a handheld reseller. What they do is they buy them when they see them on sale in China and then they collect them and they give you free shipping and returns and basically the Amazon store front end that we are normally used to shopping with. And um, that's who sent over the device for review for today. So give them a check out down in the description below. I think they did a pretty good job. Plus free shipping, which is nice. I think this is a very fun little device that you could pick up as a birthday gift or just a little fun thing to bring with you on vacation. Maybe you're bored in the airport and don't want to look at your phone anymore. I think this is a great way to play those classic games and kind of shut off the rest of the world with a little more creature comforts than we're normally used to from a Game Boy. I think these devices themselves have gotten popular just because of how cool they look, how many more functions they have than the originals did, and it brings that nostalgia feeling back of, oh yeah, I did used to spend 500 hours trading Pokemon and walking around the same patch of grass to try and catch something, which was very much fun back then. So if you're in the market for something that's 
relatively small, fits in a pocket or a backpack and switches on and off just like a Nintendo device does now, this is a great option for you. This is also a great device for a gift for somebody who hasn't really done any emulation and might possibly want to get into it but doesn't really know what to go for first because this does come preloaded with games all the way up to the PS1. If you're looking to get this for a gift for somebody that's hasn't really played any of these games since, well, they probably played them on regular hardware, this would be a great little blast from the past. In addition to, maybe they really did like that one Sonic game and, well, now you can replay it on the go. I do have a few gripes about this device, though. Initially, the firmware that I got on it, um, there was some weird screen tearing and all these other weird artifacts, but I immediately reformatted the SD card that it comes with and put Onion OS on it which cleared everything up. So, if you do get this device, I would recommend immediately going to update your firmware and then going to install Onion OS because the operating system just works a lot better overall than the stock MiU stuff and it's community-based, so it's still getting regular updates. So if you liked this video, I think there's a few other videos you should check out because there are other handhelds that are close to this device that you might want to look at as well and around the same price point. So check those out, because I don't have a whole lot left, because this is a fantastic little device and it was very fun to play with and get to know before I did this review. If you'd like to support the channel, please subscribe down below and comment what was your favorite retro handheld of the past and what was the fa your favorite game for it, because there are so many games out for those older consoles because they were out for years and I, we didn't get to experience all, all of them coming out at all the same times and like now with all the new games and game stores. So let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite game for your favorite console under the PS1 was. I think mine may have been Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. Not sure though.